ZANU PF youth savagely assaulted Citizens Coalition for Change (CCC). Quackle by election candidate Judith Tabewa's driver as the political temperature heats up ahead of the March 26 by elections. Narrating the ordeal, Tabewa said her driver was dragged out of the vehicle near the ZANU PF district headquarters in Quackle Central Business District in full view of onlookers. My driver who was driving our branded vehicle which we are using to market our party ahead of the March 26 by elections, was attacked on Friday afternoon by some ZANU PF's youths near their Kweku district offices, Tabewa said. The driver had gone to the industrial areas to have the vehicle attended to. They forcibly ejected him from the car and started to drag him along the road. He then managed to escape from the mob, jumped into the care and sped off, she said. Tabewa added that the youths also attempted to deface her campaign posters which were plastered on the vehicle. Crisis in Zimbabwe Coalition, CISC, condemned the attack which it said was a highlight of potentially bloody 2023 elections. The crisis in Zimbabwe coalition notes with concern the attack on opposition, Citizens Coalition for Change, CCC, supporters by ZANU PF supporters in Quek on February 4, 2022, the coalition said in a statement. As the crisis in Zimbabwe coalition, we are concerned that this inter-party violence, ahead of the March 26 by elections, points to bloody elections in 2023. ZANU PF bigwigs, specifically those operating from the mining town have been known to operate bandits of machete-wielding youths who have over the past electoral cycles been used to terrorize opposition supporters.